Yeah, hey guys, just got a bit of a, an update today for you on assets and asset management, so documents and things like that, if you're not familiar with asset management. Um, this is how asset management looks when you have no assets. So let's get it started. So so what we're, the use case we're looking at here is how to share documents with your partners and um, allow partners to upload documents, but which only the partner organization can see. All right, so I've actually got um, a bunch of assets here in the back end. Um, so I'm gonna start with the simplest one, which is, um, let's just take a, um, an existing asset <clears throat> and make it public. Okay, so we're gonna uh, choose the public type. Um, this has got a permission on it, which lets everyone see it. Um, so now if we refresh, there we go, we can see my lovely data rex screenshot. Um, actually, I should show what's going on up here. Uh, I've actually got three different tabs open um, for three different users. So we've got uh, Sarah Smith and Bob Jones. Now they're both in this company, this organization or a partner organization called Example Comp 2. So we want them to be able to see the same stuff. And then we've got John Smith and he's in a different company. So well, there's there's some assets that we'll want to make available to all of them, uh, and then there are assets just for each of those companies that should not be available to the other comp the other partner. So we've just made this asset public. Now, public me is literally public. It means anyone can download it off the internet. Um, so you know you can be more strict than that, but that's just an example here. So that's uh, we're making that asset available to all of our users. Um, so Let's, um, you know, we've also got, actually I should have a look here. So if we have a look at the uh, content types page, uh, here are these um, uh, asset types or tags which carry permissions around with them. So we've got this one here called uh, all participants. And this allows anyone in the participants group to read. So any asset that is tagged with this will be viewable by anyone in the participants group. All right. so. So if we just grab an example, I've got a uh, an asset in here. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I've got this one. Okay. Now the first thing is this component we're using here. This is configured to show assets from a specific type because you usually want to specially designate which ones are visible on the website. So we've got this one here called Partner Resource. But that by itself doesn't give anyone permission to see it. It just means this is one of the ones which we may at some point want to show. So if I just add the uh, all participants tag to it, um, and then we'll see that one is as is available as well. All right, so all three of our users. Great, so that's, that's two ways of making things available. First one is public. Anyone in the world can see it, even if they're not logged in. Second one is just a specific group of users can see it, but it doesn't matter what partnership, partner or organization they're in. Um, so let's look at this one here. Uh, I've got an agreement and uh, actually is that, that's the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. Okay, well let's say, let, let's get rid of all participants and um, instead we're gonna add this other one. I'll show you this other one. This is, uh, this is getting pretty fancy. So here we're saying that um, anyone who is in the participants group right, can read, but only assets that are related to them. Okay, and we'll talk about what related means in just a moment. Um, but so uh, let's, where is this one? Um, right, so here we, here we go, this, this one here. So this says it's, this, this asset is related to example company two. So if I attach the specific partner resource tag to it, that then it conveys this permission. It says anyone who is in the participants group and is in this company can view it. Uh, so that is Bob is in that company and Sarah. So this is Sarah's uh, login and there it is, you see it. Actually it was there before because we changed the permission, but anyway. So, and, uh, and Bob, Bob can see it because he's in that company too. Now, what about John though? John's not in that company, so he no longer has access to see it. So that's um, that's our third sort of targeting method. 
is uh, and, and it's a little bit easier this this is actually um, this related entity stuff is new previously you would have to create a tag for each organization that you wanted to be able to give access to but if you had like hundreds of partners that could be a bit of a hassle so this is a lot easier you manage that related organization right on the asset now there is um, the final use case I want to show is well let's say you want your at your um, partners to be able to share documents with you um, but they should be private to that that partner okay so so if uh, Sarah here uploads a file she you know she should obviously be able to see it Bob should be able to see it because he's in the same company but John should not okay so let's uh, so we've got this little up, uh, upload button here and uh, let's just look at this uh, the type that we're using so we're saying the permission here in participants and you can only view related things, related assets. But look at that, we've got the create permission on there as well. So what that means is someone who meets this criteria, right? So they're in this group, they can view assets that are related to them, but they can also create assets which become related to them. So here we are, we're logged in as Sarah. Sarah is going to upload um what do we got down here uh yeah how about uh this one one of our pen tests all right so that's uploaded great sarah can see it um right bob can see it because he's in the same company uh but poor old john over here no he's he's not seeing it now, um, and if we look in the back end just to see what has happened there, uh, I'm just going to go to the uh, asset manager and search for that asset. There it is there. And you can see that by uh, Sarah uploading it, it's it's been tagged in because this is the tag that gives her access. Um, so it's added that tag. It's added the partner resource tag because that's what the component is configured to use. And it is attached to her organization. Cool. Um, so that's uh, we're really looking at PDFs here, but um, Asset Manager can handle any type of asset uh, or any type of media file, and, and also structured content assets as well. Cool. Okay. Look, I hope this is going to be useful. And uh, yeah, if anyone's interested and you want to know more about how to use these features, um, you can get in touch with us, either support request or on Facebook or anything you like. Really. Thanks. Catch you later.